Hi guys, I've got this, these little, I guess they're like little tree or house boxes from Dollar Tree. And I've done these before, so I'm just adding to my collection if you didn't see the other videos. It's a pretty simple thing to do. You're just going to cut some paper, however you want it to look in the background. And then I use my little glue stick to put it in to the little box. It's like a shadow box, but they look like houses, which they're hard to find. Sometimes you can find a bunch of them. Sometimes you can't. Like right now, I can't find any. So I did pick up like probably about 10 of them. And they have the cutest little ornaments that you can do with your villages. They're not really ornaments, but they're like little, little figurines that you can put in the boxes. I have this ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. It's like a gold, sort of a glittery trim. And I'm just gluing it to the sides. You can paint the sides also, but I'm just using the ribbon, which gives it more of a Christmas look. I know some people like the traditional style, which is sort of basic. I'm more of the fancy side. <laughs> what do they call that anyway? Okay, I also have this other ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm putting it on the inside. So it's got a little bit of a gold, a little bit of a silver, and I'm just going to glue it with my glue gun. And I've got the little bows that are already made from Dollar Tree, which I think are a great buy because you get like 12 of them for a dollar. And as you can see, I'm just going to glue the little figurines in there. It just makes like a little village house. You can put these in your villages or you can just put them in your Christmas decor just to add some cute little, I guess, objects. And there it is, Santa waving to the snowman and people putting their little envelopes into the mailbox. And this is all done. This is a really quick five minute craft. Quick, easy, and it's really cute. I've got that tag that I bought from Walmart. Walmart has the cute little gift tags. DIY number two. I just got these little placemats. I got these from Dollar General. They were $2 a piece. And I'm just going to make a quick pillow from it. And again, this could be a quick little five minute craft that you can give away to maybe your mail lady or someone in your life that loves Christmas as much as I do. So you just glue around the edges. It's a no sew project. So for those of you who don't have a sewing machine or don't like to sew, sew this is a great one to do. You just have to remember to leave a little opening to put your stuff in. And I use the pillows that I get from Walmart. They're like $1.97. And you could, I mean, I think they go from $1.97 to $2.97 to $3.97. I just buy the cheapest one and I cut it open. And it's much cheaper than buying the batten at, say, at a craft store. So this craft was probably maybe $2.50, maybe. 50 cents for the batten. 
maybe in the last probably 25 cents. And you just make sure you stuff it in the edges. I realized after I finished it, I probably could have stuffed it a little more, but I didn't. But you could open it back up if you needed to. And then again, you just push it in there and fill that little hole that you used to put the batten in. And there you have a cute little burlap pillow. You could put it out on your patio or you could put it in your living room. I just think it's a really pretty pattern and nicely made. I sort of, it wasn't really sitting right. You can see that I crunched it down, which wasn't a very good idea for the video, but it does sit up nicely. DIY number three is I spray painted this Hobby Lobby nutcracker, and I was doing this out in my garage, so excuse the mess. I have a little box that I got from Costco that I'm just using to spray paint it. Surprised I didn't get any on my fingers, but I didn't. And now I'm going to decorate him. I've seen a lot of the black uh, figurines. I saw some at Kirkland's where they had the black deer. They had some black nutcrackers. So I decided just to spray paint mine not sure, I don't remember, I think it probably cost two bucks at Hobby Lobby because it was 50% off. Now I'm just going to glitter his, the top half of his hat. I got the glitter at Walmart's. This could easily be a five minute craft if you spray paint, because you have to wait for the spray paint to dry before you decorate it. So after it's spray painted, which only takes probably a minute, and then you just let it, I let it dry overnight just to make sure that it will adhere to other things. And now I've got one of the little glitter sheets from Dollar Tree. And this, I'm just cutting off little strips. And this easily is a five minute craft also. And I'm just adding this at the bottom of his little jacket. I decided to add some glue. These are self-adhesive strips, but it's kind of a good idea to add just a little drop of your glue gun so that it doesn't, you know, fall off later while you're say storing it for the next year and it makes it a little bit easier to keep it on there
And this is the same strips that is coming from the same sheet from Dollar Tree. I'm just cutting it off of the, it's like one big, like, I think like a four by, no, it's probably more like a four by eight sheet for a dollar. You could do a lot with this splitter pattern, especially at Christmas time. And I'm just going to put it all the way around the little bottom base. I love the way he turned out. I think he is so cute. So we would be happy if you would hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can know when my next video comes out and also the like button because it does ha help the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for watching and watch out for my next video. Have a happy day. Bye.